When I was a kid, it felt like, you know, a lot of being ashamed of myself and feeling like I wasn't as good as the rest of the kids. People that can read take that for granted. You know, I mean, they just, it just comes to them natural. But me, it's different. I, I've always wanted that. When I was 13, I had a paper out. Can you believe that? I had a paper out. Didn't even know how to read, and I had a paper out. <laughs> I delivered the paper to somebody so somebody else could read it. I could only read to third or fourth grade and write third and fourth grade level. But they kept passing me because I kept showing up every day. I'd been hiding since for about 30 years, thereabouts, maybe more, and it just became a way of life. You know, you just, that's all I knew. What is more basic than the ability to read? There isn't anything much more basic than that. Without knowing how to read, you don't have, you're not open to the real world. There's, there's no way of functioning in this world without having your reading skills together. If you can't read, you're probably not going to be able to get a job, and you're not going to be able to pay for the basic, you know, food and, and medical care and, and a house and all those kinds of things. And so this, there's this cascading effect. People are kind of falling through the cracks, and we have to get the message out to them that we can help them. I was getting by, I was working in construction. Then my job changed. I was driving down the road and I was listening to the radio and it came over the literacy program. So I called that number and I'd been thinking about it for a long time. I took my husband to a play. And so I wrote about the play and he said, he said, okay, Donna, this is a good joke. You know, now really show me the real copy, the real writing that you do. And I said to him, I said, this is, this is it. And he said, no, Donna, you're joking. No one could write this bad. That's when I picked up the phone and called the literacy program. Your library is really a welcoming place and no one's gonna judge you for what you do know or you don't know or it's not school. <laughs> it's really about really loving to read, really learning what a joy books are. I think we all carry around so many skills sometimes we don't have a clue how graced we are to have some of the skills we have until we see people who don't have those same skills. I think there was a missing link in my life where I needed to be around carrying people along with somebody that was teaching me to read. We have people who come in that don't even know the alphabet, and they, they can't read a word, all the way up through someone who might be looking to get the GED. By that person owning the fact that they need help, it's, it's very powerful. It gives them this, they're no longer afraid. They're no longer hiding behind the shame. When I started coming in here, I didn't care at that time. I just wanted to learn. I wasn't embarrassed about it no more. Once I got on the program and started learning, it was scary because it was opening new worlds. Teaching someone to read is not something you have to do over and over again. They learn to read, they go on. It's a once and done taught skill. And I have never seen a literacy volunteer whose life wasn't changed by being a literacy volunteer. It's been such an invaluable experience, not only in developing a friendship with Steve, but to see his dedication and the hard work to learn how to read. To be able to share a skill with somebody to be able to help a person get impassioned about their own life. There's just nothing like it. There's nothing like it in the world. 
helping someone feel better about themselves, being able to function better in life, just being able to achieve their goals is worth a couple of hours a week. This is a partnership. It's a partnership between the library staff and the community and volunteers. That's what makes it work. It's a lot cheaper to teach a person to read than to house them in prison. It's a lot cheaper to teach a person to read than to help families with food stamps and, and Medi-Cal and those kind of things because they're, they can't be fully self-supporting. We're a nation of second chances and the library is the place to provide that second chance. And all anybody is asking is to make sure that everybody in California has that same level playing field. I started my adult life on a third to fourth grade reading level, and now I can read and write at a senior level in high school. If I think back of all the things I've done and all the things I've accomplished since being in adult literacy, yeah, yes, I am proud of me. Right now I'm at Sacramento City College. It's like a dream. It's just amazing how things can happen if you apply yourself.